Anytime you plan to work with images, video, audio, uh, anything within React Native, within a mobile application, you're going to have to make sure you set up the right permissions uh, to actually access those various interfaces on the device. So to do that on iOS, we've just got our basic React Native project built via React Native Init. So we've got an iOS and Android project uh, within our actual React Native application. And to add those permissions, we'll go into the iOS directory, uh, into mobile, Instead of mobile, it might be whatever your project name is, whatever you put in for React Native Init. And then inside of there, we've got an info.plist. And if you're comfortable in Xcode, go ahead and use Xcode to modify this. Um, I'm just going to do it here in my normal editor. But there's a few things that we need to add. So we'll just start with key. And then inside of our key, we're going to say NS photo library usage description. And then after that, we need to set a string. And basically the string is going to be the reason why we're actually accessing this. So you're going to want to actually put a real reason in here, but we'll just say for choosing a photo. Um, and then likewise, we're going to do the same thing for a few other ones. We're going to add another key. We'll say key NS camera usage description. And then for this, once again, we'll just set a string uh, for taking a photo. And then we can go ahead and do one more. And this final one is going to be NS photo library add usage description. And here we'll just say for saving a photo. Again, uh, make sure you actually put real reasons in here because this is important. This is something that Apple takes into consideration when reviewing your application. So you want to give an actual reason. If you're using the photo for user avatar, say that. Uh, you want actual usage descriptions here. We're also going to have to do this for Android. So going back over here, inside of my Android directory, app, source, main, Java, or actually just main, we'll go into our Android uh, manifest.xml. And then we're going to have to add a few more uses permission. And we're going to say Android name. It's going to be android.permission.camera. Likewise, we're going to do android.permission.write underscore external underscore storage. And before we leave this file, make sure on these use permissions that you've added, uh, you go ahead and put a forward slash in there to close that. And then once this is done, you're going to actually need to go ahead and say, or actually rebuild the application. So in my case, I'm running it on iOS. If you're running out of Android, you'll want to rebuild the project. Since we've modified the native project, we need to rebuild that so those changes can actually be applied to our application.